He was a charismatic actor from the UK and became an icon in the US, playing in comic to action roles from the 1930s to the 1960s, acting with major Hollywood stars throughout his career and even spending time on stage as well, winning various awards with most of his collaborations with great actors to acting in iconic money-making roles, then becoming one of the greatest actors of all time in Hollywood. This is Cary Grant, and this is his basic biography. Early life. Cary Grant's real name was Archibald Alec Leach, and he was born on the 18th of January 18, I mean 1904 in Bristol, England. He grew up in a family where his parents worked as tailors and even in the clothing industry. Both his parents were able to allow Cary Grant to take up singing and dancing at a young age, and his mother... Able, was able to help him with building up Holland's talents. He even went to the cinema and watched various performances by actors during the 1910s and the 1920s. He was able to attend school in Bristol, first was a primary school when he was a child and then spending time at a grammar school in the mid-1910s and was able to take up many performances at school with interest of working behind the screens and even behind the stage performances when he was a young, a young lad. Sometimes spending time performing on stage but was too young to perform full time. He was able to work odd jobs once he was kicked out of school and would use the money for his jo from his jobs to train in dancing and singing and even acting. Acting career Cary Grant would spend the 1920s to the early 1930s acting on stage and being classed as a lead actor on stage. He would act in better times on stage in 1922 and would be able to claim that he was seen by various actors and actresses from the US coming over to see the United Kingdom for holidays and even or getting away with uh, from the Hollywood lifestyle. Cary Grant would have a chance to move over to the United States to continue his stage career, but in the 1930s it came at a cost for new actors who were able to become or looking for jobs on stage and even becoming actors themselves. This was is when Cary Grant was able to perform more for more money and even gain a stable career in acting, but uh, but was cut short. But this was cut short due to the Great Depression. Luckily, he was able to be known around the world around the acting scene due to his stage performances on Broadway. From the, his appraisal from various actors and reporters, he suddenly got a contract from Hollywood with Pinewood Studios offering, a, offering him a, an acting job and to star in his first motion picture. His first motion picture was This Is The Night in 1932, and he would, would continue to act in more roles during the same year. In the 1930s overall, Cary Grant will, be, will, be, will, will become one of the most sought-out actors, which has been able to he which himself was uh, come over from the United States, from the United Kingdom, and would perform in various movie roles, even more movie roles than than any other British actor at that time, starring with starring as characters such as heroes animals, romantics, aristocrats, and even police officers, rubbing shoulders with Catherine Hepburn to, and even Mae West due to his acting credits of being a newcomer to Hollywood with big aspirations. Birth of another sophisticated actor. When the 1940s rolled in, Cary Grant would change his acting style, this acting style still keeping the sophisticated gentleman and uh, act acting style and even working on World War II influenced movies. One of his movies called Gun Gunga Din in 1939 would have Cary Grant co-starring with Douglas Fairbanks Jr. as soldiers during the war. Also Destination Tokyo in 1943 would have him playing as a submariner during World War II. He still acted in romantic comedies and even light-hearted films with heavyweight, heavyweight actors and actresses at the time. 
He was able to act with Katherine Hepburn again in the movie The Philadelphia Story in 1940, which was high, another highly rated movie that had Cary Grant headlining. Later on in the 1950s, he would play more movies and now on television, as he would appear on television with various theatre companies or acting on stage but live on television, sometimes starring on the big screen with dra within dramas, war films and even thrillers. He was able to star in, with Frank Sinatra and even Sophia Loren in the hit movie The Pride and the Passion in 1957. Then collaborating with Alfred Hitchcock in To Catch a Thief, Thief with co-star Grace Kelly in 1955, as well as North by Northwest with James Mason in 1959. The 1950s made, w w 1950 was a remarkable year for the older and more rugged um, Cary, Cary Grant, and would still become an, an icon which would last from the 1950s to the 1960s. Make him, that made him a silver screen legend. He would also continue acting in the 1960s and would star with Audrey Hepburn in the 1963 film movie Charade. Personal life and final years. Cary Grant mar was married at least five times in his life. First wife was Vi uh, Virginia Sherrill and their relationship lasted from 1934 to 1935. Second wife was Barbara Hutton with their relationship lasting from 1942 to 1945. Third wife was Betsy Drake, with this relationship lasting from 1949 to 1962. With, and then his fourth wife was Diane Cannon, and the, the couple had a child in that same relationship, which lasted from 1965 to 1968. Final wife was Barbara Harris, and their relationship lasted from 1981 to his death in 1986. He was nominated only for being a great actor with various acting um, awards, uh, such as the BAFTA, the Golden Globes, and even the Academy Awards in the from the 1950s to the 1960s. Cary Grant was, would, be, would, would be working in Hollywood during the 1960s, and yet getting older and wanted to spend more time with his new daughter based on, his, or based on being a father in his 60s. Hollywood was able to offer him new roles and even was considered to play as James Bond before Sean Connery and was considered to play as Napoleon Solo at one point before Robert Vaughan. Yet these roles were turned down due to his age or being part of, not being part of a franchise. The last film role he starred in was in Walk Don't Run in 1966. Legacy and Death Sadly, the legendary Cary Grant passed away on the 29th of November 1996 from a stroke and would have various health problems before his death. He was able to still be active and even communicating with his fans and sometimes meeting with the royal family, British royal family, before his death. He even left a legacy of uh, being one of the best actors of all time in Hollywood. Superman actor Christopher Reeve was able to use the uh, I mean to use his sa the same acting style of Cary Grant in his movies. Many tributes were made around the world, and even still are loads of statues of um, this actor being made today. Even many actors as well are able to meet the great Ca uh, Cary Grant in real life, to, um, and even becoming good friends with him in Hollywood. Today, most actors and actresses are able to still keep a sophisticated persona based on Cary Grant's and his acting style. Actors such as Hugh Grant would have similar acting styles, and even um, Cary, um, even Henry Cavill himself would have the same acting style in his movies, as these two actors were inspired by the by Cary Grant himself. Now, thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm Suki Cookie, and it's great to see all my audiences enjoying my film, my videos. And please subscribe if you haven't done so, if you're a new viewer. Thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.